to find another place to land. That looks like a good spot. Captain, I noticed we changed course. Is everything all right? I don't know, Shellington. What do you make of that? Fascinating, Captain. Those are sea pigs. Sea pigs? Yes. Sea pigs are creatures that live in the deep ocean, but they don't swim. They walk around on the seafloor with little legs. And it looks like they're walking straight towards the trench. That's not good. If they fall in, they won't be able to swim out. That's a long way to fall, matey. That's not the only problem. Sea pigs eat bits of food that drift down from the surface of the ocean, and hardly any of it gets down that far. Aye, so they'd be stuck and hungry. Wazi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need guffs A, B, C, D and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention sea pigs, you must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food! Yum, yum, yummy food! No! It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Food! No! Please, listen to me. The trench is really deep, and there's no food for you down there. Food! Food, you say? Yum, yum, smelly food. Of course, that's it. Captain, I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Ugh, but there's no way we can get this slop over to the sea pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast! Super couple! Tunip, that smells awful. Great work. I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <laughs> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. <laughs> Flappity flippers, they're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Super, Uh-oh. Peso, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help, now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> right, Peso. Let's hope that Gup of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Oh, oh. Let's go. 
Marcy, Tulip has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, Tulip. Tunip! Where are you, matey? Prowful? Tunip! Snugga, snugga, mama! Tunip! I can hear you, but I can't see you! Prowful! He must be buried in the mud. But there's a lot of mud down here. Whoa! Hello. Goodbye. We can't save them one by one, Cap. It'll take too long. Then we'll have to round them up. Octonauts, follow me as fast as you can. We're going to make a sea pig whirlpool. <laughs> it's working. Peso, open the Gup E's holding tank. There you go. <laughs> Quasi, any sign of Tunip and the glider? No, Captain. They've, they've disappeared. Request backup. We need more than backup, Quasi. We need a plan. <laughs> and I think I might just have one. It's no good. Tunip could be anywhere. That's why we're going to sniff him out. All right, little sea piggy. Food. Find food. Oh, food. Mmm, smell food. Over there. Me. Captain, what? There was still some of the sea kelp cake left on top of the glider. Our friend there is sniffing it out. Look there. It looks like... <laughs> Tunip! Super, super! <laughs> yum, 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 yum. You did it! Hooray! Well done, guys! Thanks for your help. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Oh, food! More food! <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> they sure do like that smelly stuff. Which is more than can be said for poor Tunip. Boots <laughs> <laughs> and the sea skaters. What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any. Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton! That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please. <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... Woohoo! I've got it started! He 
But how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, a lot of it back. Left, right, sky! Left, right, sky! Oh, Left, right, see, sky. monkey's uncle! Left, right, it's a sky. bug walking Left, on water! Right, sky. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true, I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What have we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yeah. Ready. Coon, coon, coon. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. OK, here we go. Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, and hurry! Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this skate. wing! Are you any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gup finder. Don't worry, Tweak, we'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find him before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out, and I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Gashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh no, Quasi's out there, while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm, any luck opening the octohatch, Street? Uh, no, we gotta unjam the octohatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey, you're talking to a speed skater, man. <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <laughs> Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't say little. Uh, no. I mean, yes. Uh... Coming through! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <sighs> that's as far as I can get it. I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? Captain, I found the Octo Ski, but I'm tracking a really big wave and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Tweak, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Kids. Okay, Sally, time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe even if we go underwater. Amazing. <laughs> but true. What about the babies? Well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard. It's okay, hon. I've got it. <laughs> Babies! Money! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids! I've got you! Here you go! Strider! He's gone! Stay with your babies! I'll get him! Should see Quasi any minute, Cap! Ah, there's no 
nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh. Hello. Um, who are you? Never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Strider! Need a lift? No worries! What makes you think I need a... Are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right! You may be little, but you do big things! No, no, no! I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh! We're gonna need a bigger bubble! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> right on time, Captain! We open the windscreen! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> I quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Hear it? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things. <laughs> <laughs> the octonauts and the coconut crabs. Ow! Ah, there's nothing more relaxing than a moonlight drive. Flying fish. So you want to race, do ye? You're on. A buzz, me fishies. Wow! I've been hit. It's a sneak attack. Ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Ah, uh, <gasps> blubbering blowfish. It's the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. <clears throat> oh. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octoclaw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yow! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm, zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Alan, straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There! No, over there! <gasps> the coconut! It's gone! Tweak, spotlight! 
Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how did you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it, Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. The crack. Keep pulling. Tweak. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim. Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the gut X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. It's Clive! Ready, coconut. Crack! And drop! Bullseye! Gotcha! There's Clem! There's a lot of wind! This could get bumpy! Coconut ready! Crack! Ah, I don't see Clem! I've got to get a closer look. There he is. Damn crap. Yow. Nice catch, matey. And I might add... Ouch! Wazzy! Love in trouble! Up ahead! Thanks, fishies! That's Clarence. Crap! Drop! Yeah. Got it! Help! Over here! Look out! Ah! Oh, my boys are safe! Thank you, Octonauts! Good work, everyone! Mission complete! Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut! You're right! Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open! Okay! in the coconut. This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. 
these here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Training coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah! And the red rock crabs. Mm, fascinating. Sea stars and snails and red rock crabs? Red rock crabs don't live in this part of the ocean. It's too cold for them. I wonder how they got here. Hello, I'm Shellington. I'm an Stay back! <gasps> oh, impressive. I knew red rock crabs were quick, but I didn't realise they were that quick. There's no need to be frightened. I just want to... This way, Chokes! I'm here to help. You'll never catch us! Hey! Uh. Through his legs, Chokes! <laughs> Stand this place. It's cold. There's nothing to eat. And now some big furry things chasing after us. Captain, come in, Captain. Shellington, how are you getting on exploring that island? Well, Captain, there's a bit of a mystery. I found some red rock crabs, but they don't belong here. This island is much too cold for them, and there's not enough food. They won't last long here. I'm going to need help rounding them up and taking them back where they belong. Understood. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've got a problem with some red rock crabs on an island where they don't belong. I don't know how they got here. But we need to take them back to their home in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos are a long way from here. Can we just load them into the guards? No, that's the tricky part. They're very hard to catch. Every time I try to get close, they run away. Shellington, we're on our way. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, up. It's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! <laughs> hey. uh -huh. <laughs> nice and easy. <sighs> Hello, I'm Peso, and I'm soaking wet. <sighs> I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh! I'll get my brother onto you. I get away. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening, and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow, with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye, yes, Captain. Captain. We'll round them up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tunip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> What a lovely day. Just out for a stroll. Not trying to catch any crabs. Oh, that sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell them, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. 
till eventually we was washed up here on the, this little island. Ah, and so the Red Rock Crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here is too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. Ah, I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, they kind of tickles. All right, everyone. Now that they're distracted. <gasps> it's those furry guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Run for your lives! <laughs> hey, <laughs> this way, <wind shot. laughs> After them! Stop right there! <laughs> oh, no! Phew, they'll see. Well, what are we waiting for? No, Quasi. It's too dangerous. Not for a marine iguana. Our claws give us special grip. Watch. Only we had claws like that. Let me see those claws again. Knock yourself out. Mm. You know what, Pistol? I think I might be able to make a song. <laughs> Tweak, these are a great invention. Thanks, Cap. I call them climbing claws. Everyone stay close and follow me. We need to herd the crabs up to the top of the cliff. We're ready for them, Captain. They'll be safe in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, Captain. Just a little further. Steady. Keep moving forward, Octonauts. Hey, what are you furry things doing to my friends? Don't worry. We just want to take you back to your home. Take us back home? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, why'd you hit your right? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, good. Ah, uh, two! Oh, oh no! Ah, uh, two! Ow! Octonauts, form a chain. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, oh. uh, uh. We're coming, mateys! <laughs> Tweet, hold me by my tail. You got it, Quasi! Nearly there! Gotcha! Octonauts, let's bring them in! Good work, everyone. Thanks for helping us, Chuck. He was just a bit scared before, being so far from home. No problem. But we couldn't have done it without the iguanas. Oh, don't mention it. Now, what do you say we go home? I say, let's go, Chucks! Octonaut to the Galapagos. Here we are, the Galapagos Islands. Hey, everybody, we're home! Just in time, too. I could really do with a snack. Me, too. Come on! <laughs> Nice the Octonauts and the Harbour Seal. The sucker on your fin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hit rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. <laughs> I, I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. Nora, Nora, Nora. Oh. Captain, Nora has vanished. 
And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Yep, what about? Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbor Seal, at your service. <laughs> oh. Oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one. <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me, so obviously they're lost or missing. <laughs> well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chat. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbor Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish, and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... <laughs> oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before he takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't chomp my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my seal skin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get that picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Peso, go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big pointy nosed fish with Nora attached. <laughs> They definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. 
just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. <laughs> oh, oh. oh no, snapping shrimp! Oh. Yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peter! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snip first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody. Stop snipping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine. But where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. <laughs> Come on, chaps. Okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Ah. There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! It's us, but we're catching up, mateys. Oh, I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you! Catch me if you can! Whoa! He's making a getaway! Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air! He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. Ready? Ready. There they are. Can't get unstuck. Oh. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh, can't reach. I'll have to do this on the fly. Oh. Gotcha. We've got our fish. Whoa. And our penguin, too! <laughs> Just a few more days in the sickbay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 The Octonauts and the Sea Skaters. What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any... Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton! That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the gup X. The gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking gups and helping fix them. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... Woohoo! I've got it started! But how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, 
a lot of it back. Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! I'll be a sea monkey's uncle! Left, it's right, a bug walking left, on water! Right, skate. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true, I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, oh, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What have we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yeah ready. Yeah, yeah. Come, come. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. OK, here we go. Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, and hurry! Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind! Skate. Any sound, Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the duck finder. Don't worry, Tweak, we'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find him before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out, and I can't open the octa hatch. <laughs> Nothing's working right. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh no, Quasi's out there, while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm, any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? Uh, no, we gotta unjam the octo hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey! You're talking to a speed skater, man! <laughs> I'll just swim any faster! Come on, I'll race you! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't, don't say little! Uh, no. I mean, yes, uh... Coming through! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <sighs> I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? Janet, you did it! Captain, I found the octo ski. But I'm tracking a really big wave, and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go! Tweak, activate glider! You got it, Cap! Oh! Hang on, kids! Okay, Sally, time to bubble up! Time to what? Bubble up! Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this! So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the babies? Well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard! It's okay, hun, I've got it! The babies! Mummy! I'll save them! <laughs> don't be scared, kids! I've got you! Up, up, up. Here you go! Ah. Strider! He's gone! Stay with your babies! I'll get him! Yeah. Should see Quasi any minute, Cap! <laughs> ah! There's nobody here! Hey! Who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh! Hello! Um... Who are you? Never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. 
Strider! Need a lift? No worries! What makes you think I need a... Are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right, you may be little, but you do big things! No, 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 I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bubble! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> right on time, Captain! Quick, open the windscreen! <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh, I quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Here. Don't mind if I do. Mm. Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things. <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Scared Sperm Whale. All done. Fit as a fiddlefish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X-ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha! Uh -huh. You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? Oh, that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's that? A young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm here to help. <laughs> get, get, get away! But I. Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. you, you. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. <laughs> Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 Walker! Walker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if. Peso? Me? <laughs> Him. Dashy, send me a picture of a... Orca, already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scary Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it. But I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep. And dark. And scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. 
Did I say something wrong? You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Hey, so. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Just a little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it! I can do it! I oh, can't do it! <laughs> Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it! I can do it! <laughs> I can't do it! This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> <sighs> You see, you can do it. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. I. Ah! Ah! Um, excuse me, Mr. Clam. Would you mind opening your? No! I can do it. I can do it. Oh, who am I fooling? Oh. Yeah. Help! I so a giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> This way! Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... Oh, I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers! We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it! This day, Mr. Peso! Clam, clam, peso, clam, clam, peso! Quasi? Are you all right, peso? Well, it's getting a bit cosy. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. <laughs> It's too heavy. We need a whale. What? Simon. Uh, Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it. Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save. Hey, so. Hey, look, it's Simon. Out of my way! I've got you, Peso. <laughs> But how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. <laughs> Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. <laughs> That's it. Now, pull. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey, who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Follow me. Hey, wait for me. He can do it. He can do it. He did it.
Bull Squid. Hmm, I wonder what those little lights are up ahead. Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah, jumping jellyfish! Dashie, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh, switch the steering wheel mode now. Must break free. Oh, oh dear. Ow! What? Shiver me, whiskers. <laughs> Lapperty flippers. <laughs> it's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Uh, I grab it, I keep it, you weird-looking squid. Dashie, oh, sound oh, the Octo oh, Alert! Oh, oh. Octobots, to the HQ! <laughs> Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Yeah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet. I've got just the thing, Cap. We're in this tentacle suit. Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. Twist to the side. Now down. That's it! Ah, you're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor! Ugh, oh my, I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be... Ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the squid playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood, quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it. Captain, incoming tentacle. Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked up to us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed. Don't worry. We'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all guffs for launch. There you are, 
our colossal dinner. Autonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey, this is fun. Everyone, pull up. Up, 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 up. Now, back down. Oh, down. Still chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Ooh, can't keep going. Must go up there. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses. I can do it. I'll just brace myself. Oh. And give it a good swall. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no, Tunip and the vegetables are in there. Ah, they're sinking fast. We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! It's too dark. I can't see the pod. I see it, I see it. You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh-oh. Down. Go oh, down. Everyone, dive. No, no, not that way. The other way. Bring the cups around. Hurry. They're heading for some sharp rocks. You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I've got it. Oh, I've got it. Octonauts, pull up. Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. Now that all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? OK, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. Little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Bowhead Whales. I can't believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Ooh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch, with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, oh, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is! Bowhead whales! 
They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, we're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? <laughs> Getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic Range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No, Wolves, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, Peso, to the launch bay. It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! Narwhals! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! I know that voice! Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes? Until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish. Narwhals are whales and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Uh, it's caught on something. Uh, uh. Yes, that did it. Uh, uh. There it is. Ah, <gasps> uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's Icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunch carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. Stuck. That ice is just too thick. Whoa! I'd better pull out as soon as everything stops spinning. Easy does it. It is no use! We're back where we started and we will soon need air again! We're not giving up on you, Boris! Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now! Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch! Good idea, but it would take too long! Hmm. 
Fuck the wall! How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. Fuck the wall! I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. Fuck the wall! That's it! The bowhead whales! Tough enough to smash through just about anything! Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. Howdy, y'all! We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashy. How much longer? Whibby. Look! Whibby. 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 Yeah. Morris, narwhals, everyone, get back! Barnacles, my dear old friend. Thanks to you and your octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris. We're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partners! Yip, 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 yip.